start on lap 75 seemed to make all the difference in the world tonight. Yeah, I mean, uh, I thought we were going to get there a little earlier. Uh, I, I just got I got beside Stewie, and he uh, once he saw me out there, he moved up, and he kind of wrestled the lead away. And I thought, man, I missed my chance because he might never get off that cushion again. And uh, and I think notorious here, usually you can't run up there that long. It starts to fade. You heat your stuff up. But, I mean, that last restart, yeah, get, starting in fourth was a big deal for me because so, I couldn't take off on the bottom that good. I slipped the tires real bad, and... Uh, and they just all kind of fought each other for the bottom, and um, and it just uh, and I could see better. It, it's just hard to see when you're in a heavy pack of traffic when it got behind the lead, you know, lap traffic and stuff. Just like at the end, I just I couldn't really see that good behind the 43, and and, uh, and I just couldn't hit the cushion right, and I just lost a lot of time. But yeah, thank God it wasn't uh, 101 or two laps. <laughs> First win on the Super Dirt Series in almost six years. How great is to come back to New York State and see all these fans here congratulating you? Oh, it's amazing. I mean, most of these, not most of them, a lot of them will come to races that I'm at with late models. And uh, when we do have a show around here, they're 100% behind me. Uh, it's been three, four years of uh, kind of off a little bit with my cars, maybe late model wise. And, and uh, me and Vinny, man, we were we were really good when we raced here. And uh, I kind of just went back to what Vinny and the Four Star guys would do throughout the night as far as uh, with this car for Vic Coffee and Sweeteners. This is this uh, this is the first shot of the gate with this car, so it was, a, it was an amazing night. Stewart, second place finish in the big show. Tell us about that race tonight. I was good. We had a, the Hellmar International team did a great job. Um, guys have been working so hard to get back to where we need to be on the series here, and the second is good. You know, we led a lot of laps and um, had a great long run car. We were great rolling around in the slick, and um, that late caution, the track just came back to life a little bit. And, um, that was what Timmy needed to get by us, so, uh, you know, a second to a guy like that's that's always pretty cool, and there's probably not too many people in the country that can run that lane, you know, slicked up to a curb where he was he was beating it, so uh, it was cool, some momentum for us, and then we'll build on it, just uh, second second always sucks, and uh, when it's a drop like it was tonight, you know, in, in, uh, in the money, it's uh, that stings a little bit, but um, it is what it is, man, we'll, we'll race on, we'll march on to the next one. Brett, some final thoughts on the Big Show 9? Ah, I just think uh, electric man. I think it was awesome. Uh, the sound system and the DJ did a great job, and uh, a lot of smiling people, pack stands, and you know it could have turned, it could have turned bad with the weather today. And uh, we, we, you know, Lyle and I, you know, we decided this morning that it looked like we could ride it out. And if we didn't get uh, completely smothered by a rainstorm, that we'd be able to get the track running. He did a, he did a phenomenal job. Gave us, a, you know, gave us a four wide racing surface and a great race. And, could ask for anything more. I'm happy. I, the only thing I didn't do is win the race. And the top five, it's okay, you know, but we didn't win the race. How tough is it to promote a race and drive it at the same night? It's very, very stressful. I mean, leading everything leading up to this is very stressful, but it's very exciting and very fun. Very fun.